Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Double T Insider. I'm your host, Robert Giovanetti. If you haven't heard by now, Texas Tech has hired Mark Adams as its new men's basketball coach. Adams was previously associate head coach of the men's basketball team and, of course, responsible for the no middle defense that led Texas Tech to the Elite Eight in the national championship game in back to back years. Adams brings a long history of West Texas athletics with him. He had stops at Clarendon College, Wayland Baptist, West Texas A&M, Texas Pan American, and Howard College, where he won a national championship as the head coach. When we come back, we'll hear from the head men's basketball coach, Mark Adams. Talk to him about his new job here at Texas Tech and uh, what his expectations are for the future here of Red Ritter Basketball. All that coming up next on Double T Insider. Double T Insider is sponsored by Academy Sports and Outdoors, the official sporting goods and outdoor retailer of the Big 12 Conference. Welcome back to Double T Insider. I'm your host, Robert Giovanetti, and it's now my pleasure to be joined by the new head basketball coach of the Texas Tech men's basketball program, Coach Mark Adams. Coach, I know it's been a whirlwind couple of days. Congratulations. Thank you, Gio. Guys, just in here to say that just, uh, uh, just sends uh, chills down my spine to, to finally to be at a place uh, to be the head coach and uh, to get a chance to lead this, this program. It's been a dream that's uh, of mine for Guys, since I was uh, eight or nine years old, watching Texas Tech basketball and football growing up, so 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 excited to be here. You know, you and I had this conversation yesterday. I remember the stories to be when you were sitting in the Coliseum, taking notes with Coach Myers' uh, teams uh, during his practices. Is something you always kind of knew in your head that I want to be a coach someday? No doubt. And uh, yeah, those are back when I was uh, here at Texas Tech. Coach Myers let me kind of shadow him and follow him around, asked a lot of questions, took notes, and um, He's been a great mentor to me, but uh, yeah, I love Texas Tech, grew up in this area, and um, always want to be back here. So yeah, coaching's in my blood. Um, uh, God's blessed me with the opportunity just to be in this profession, and uh, it's been a wonderful experience for me. When you had the meeting with Kirby, when, when he offered you the position, uh, I know uh, Kirby told me afterwards that you weren't expecting that at that time. He said that he, he thought it kind of surprised you a little bit. Uh, can you take us through your emotions when, when it up? Yeah, when you it went? This, uh, before or after I hugged him, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> but, you know, I, I, uh, Kirby's a great man and, and um, he's done an unbelievable job leading this university and, and it just means a lot to, uh, to me to have his support and trust. And, um, and I just told him I was going to make him proud and uh, I can't wait to get started. Who was the first call you made when you, after you got, uh, walked out of the office? Uh, you know, my wife and, um, and um, Abby and Luke, my, ki my children, who both graduated here at Texas Tech. My mom, who's 90 years old, lives down at Brownfield. So, uh, talked to my family first. And uh, again, just, they were just elated. And we're, uh, this has been a team effort, Gio. So, we're excited to be here. Uh, you told me last night, look, this isn't about me. It's about all of us and, and a team. And I know you've got a great team for, as far as your family. Uh, were you, how, how did you feel seeing all the out? pouring of support before you got hired from former players and others that you've come across? Yeah, it's a, it's a humbling uh, experience for me just to, you know, to have so much support and a lot of responsibility because that goes with that. We've got, it seems like the entire community is glad that I'm here. Uh, uh, I, just a lot of great people in West Texas and and uh, I think they appreciate that, that I'm from this area and, and uh, West Texas is home and uh, they can relate to, to a guy like me and I am. I'm one of them and uh, and I'm just so proud to, to represent everybody and I appreciate their trust and confidence. All right, when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more with Coach Adams about the future of Texas Tech basketball here on Double T Insider. Double T Insider is sponsored by Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Register for your chance to win an autographed Coach Tim Tadlock baseball by visiting redraiderscontest.com. This exclusive offer is brought to you by Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, proud sponsor of Texas Tech Athletics. This season, Texas Tech is switching to all mobile ticketing. That's right. Season tickets, mini plans, and single game tickets for all Texas Tech football, men's basketball, women's basketball, and baseball events are now mobile. So what does this mean for you? 
convenience. Because your tickets will be stored on your mobile device, you no longer need to worry about receiving or printing physical copies of your tickets. This new process eliminates the need to coordinate meeting times for ticket distribution by allowing you the flexibility of easily transferring your tickets from your mobile device to the personal device of friends or family. So arriving to the game at different times is no longer a problem. Eliminating the cost of printing physical tickets allows us to put more resources into enhancing both the student-athlete and fan experience. Prior to arriving to the stadium on game day, be sure to check your Apple Passbook or Google Pay and confirm tickets have been added. On game days, all you'll need is your phone, your physical parking pass, and of course that Raider Power Spirit. If you have any questions, feel free to contact support in the Texas Tech Ticket Office at 806-742-TECH or visit texastech.com slash mobile ticketing. We, when we left here, we were joined by Texas Tech basketball coach Mark Adams. And uh, coach, we haven't talked anything about the current players and so just your interactions with them since you got the position? Yeah, Gio, uh, we had a, a Zoom meeting with uh, our guys last night and, and broke the news to them and, and uh, they were extremely happy for me. and. Um, and I, I explained to these guys, I'm, I'm excited to be here. This is the, uh, I want to be the leadership of this program. And, um, and I want to thank them because I wouldn't be here without their support. And so I had a chance to talk with all of them individually. And so they've all been, uh, again, very supportive, excited about uh, sitting down with me in the next few weeks. And um, some of these guys are just now getting back into town. So we'll do that uh, sooner than later. But uh, again, great, great group of guys. And I, and I think at this point, uh, most of them will be back next year. That's, that's great news, and I saw some of them already have put out on their social media that they're staying. It's such a strange state of college basketball where you can enter the portal and, and everything that happens. So you're almost always recruiting, right? You're recruiting, you're even trying to recruit the guys you already have. Yeah, the landscape in recruiting has totally changed, and um, I don't think anybody's got it figured out. But in recruiting, as in this year and in, in the portal, it's all about uh, building relationships. and. And uh, we're going to continue doing that, and that's why most of these guys want to come back. But yeah, there's going to be a, a, I think the portal's up to, it'll be up to about 2,000 in the next few weeks. So uh, a lot of opportunities for guys to go other places, and, um, and there'll be opportunities for us to recruit some really experienced players as well. So we're, uh, we're delving right into the, to the transfer portal. You, you know, in a lot of the things I read about you leading up to this, people saying, well, Coach Adams focuses on the defense. He doesn't really dabble in these other areas. But some people don't know. You've, you've had a very successful stint as a head coach. You've got a national championship uh, on your resume as well. So when you look at it, what are your expectations for, for you and this program moving forward in the next few months? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I've uh, – had the responsibility of defense and, and uh, proud of what we've been able to do. I think we hang our hat on defense, and uh, I do think that wins championships, but you got to score. And, um, and uh, I think offense is really, I, I surprise people, but I'd rather have a great offense and great defense. Uh, uh, you, you know, guys that can, teams that can score easy, it, they win easier, and, and that gives you that knockout punch. But uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be aggressive on both ends of the floor. We're going to push the ball and attack like we've always done. All right, Coach, congratulations again. Did you ever dream, did young Mark Adams ever dream that, hey, someday I'm going to be, you got that, uh, you know, that double T on, your, on your, uh, your shirt there and you're the head man? Yeah, young Mark Adams, about, you know, at, at a young age, has always wanted to be here. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just great that I got a chance to be here a little bit later than I thought. <laughs> but uh, uh, God willing and the great support here, I'm so appreciative of everybody and looking forward to the challenge. Well, I know everyone at Texas Tech is excited you're here, so congratulations. Thank you, Jill. It's Texas Tech men's basketball coach Mark Adams has a good ring to it. We'll come back and tell you what's coming up in Texas Tech athletics after this. Double T Insider is sponsored by Covenant Health. Every moment matters. Covenant Medical Group has five convenient urgent care locations in Lubbock, including one just for kids. Visit covenanthealthcare.org slash urgent care to find an urgent care clinic near you. At Texas Tech, innovation is at our core. Grit and determination drive our ambition. Art and culture spur our creativity. We're a community that makes Texas and the world a better place. We're a university where our accomplishments are many, our achievements are global, and our victories are glorious. Texas Tech University, from here, it's possible. 
We are more than athletes. Being able to come together and play soccer just eliminates bad ideas about being different from somebody. You're allowed to express yourself through soccer and understand that you may be a lot more similar to somebody than you think. We want to create scholarships and funding for people and just make it easier for people to be able to enjoy the sport of soccer and get to come to camp. Being able to be around people who are different from you can help you so much be successful even outside of sports. My name is Jade King and I am more than a soccer player. Welcome back to Double T Insider. I'm your host, Robert Giovanetti. Thanks again to Coach Adams for joining us. Looking forward to Red Raider basketball coming up next year. Let's take a look at this coming up week in Red Raider athletics. It starts with baseball, a top 10 matchup. The number eight ranked Red Raiders hosting number 10 TCU. Three games starting Friday at 6.30, Saturday at 2, Sunday at 12 noon, all at Rip Griffin Park. And you can see those on ESPN Plus, Big 12 now. Texas Tech softball returns home this weekend. They'll host Oklahoma State in a three-game series, Friday at 6, Saturday at 4, Sunday at 12 noon. All of those can be seen on ESPN Plus and Big 12 now. And Texas Tech track and field will host the Mass Rider Open. That'll take place Friday and Saturday at Fuller Track. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Double T Insider. Thanks again to Coach Adams for stopping by. We'll talk to you again next week here on Double T Insider. Double T Insider is brought to you in part by Wells Fargo, proud sponsor of Texas Tech Athletics.